For more, I'm joined by Jeremy Gaines, coordinator of the Nigerian-German Energy Partnership, and he joins us now in Frankfurt. Good to have you with us. I know that you know Nigeria very well. It's a country rich in oil, has lots of potential, yet the economy is struggling. There's a lot of government debt. Um, how can the upcoming election help to make things better? Uh, good evening, Monica. I think the important thing will be what happens in the first hundred days. What we've seen over the last four years has unfortunately, sadly, been a change for the worse. Only within the last two years, unemployment has gone from 18% to 23%. If you poll Nigerians who are going to vote, corruption is actually only third on their list of what counts. What counts is employment, and that what counts after that is poverty. The incoming government has got to get the fin financial, fiscal and monetary policy tweaked in such a way that it is coherent and that it is pro-business so that SMEs can start creating jobs. And the real place where they will create jobs will be in the agro-industry. At the moment, Nigeria doesn't feed itself, and yet it has marvelous soil that is waiting to be exploited. To that end, it doesn't need major large roads, it needs rural roads that gets products from the small mm. farms to cooperatives to market. And of course, all this infrastructure costs money, which is why foreign investment would be very, very important, but it's faulted in recent years. What are investors exactly looking for? What does Nigeria have to do to attract more investment? I think they have to show that they do have a coherent macroeconomic policy and that that policy rests on a clear regulatory regime and on the rule of law. And of late, there have been some difficulties with the rule of law. The Chief Justice of Nigeria was suspended by the President, some say unconstitutionally. That puts a damper on things, and foreign direct investment has indeed dropped by 20%. It's been discouraged by unclear regimes as regard customs, it's troubled by the fact that access to foreign exchange is not good. That access is required if you wish to repatriate your profits. It's also been hampered by a perception of security that is indeed true. The incoming government must, first and foremost, solve the security problems in the country. Hmm. Since President Buhari declared Boko Haram defeated, 22,000 people have been killed. Oh, that yeah. situation has to change. All right, Jeremy, I, I, I understand, obviously, whoever wins the next election has a lot of work on his plate. Uh, Jeremy Gaines, the coordinator of the Nigerian-German Energy Partnership. Thank you so much.